Hello everyone, Alade, and this is a video to show you how you can record your game completely for free on full screen mode, unlike some videos I saw that said you ha have to record it on full screen mode, you know, in window mode, and at the mess, and I don't believe in that. Instead, I found an easy way to do it using a free software called Open Broadcast Software. It's a broadcasting software for live events mainly, but can also record into your computer. It's an open source program, it's free. It's pretty easy to use and it's pretty nice. You have all kinds of small stuff you can use for it. And it's still in development mode. It means everything you see now might change and you might have more stuff in it. Okay, so let's go in. So, first of all, you'll have to go into obsproject.com. I'll have the link in the description for making it easier on you guys. And now here you, you need to come and click download. And this will take you the link to SourceFog and it will start to download. Now I'm not going to show the download part in installation because I believe you can do it by yourself. The installation comes with a 32 and a 64 bit installation so you, you choose whatever your program is running on. And I'm going to show it simple because I believe it's simple enough you don't need my help for it. Okay, so you got to download it. You installed it. Okay, as I did. Now, to run your game and record it in the way, you'll need to run the program as Now to do that, you need to right click your program and you can the computer seems to be a bit slow right now um, you can select run as administer now that will be a pain to go every time and do that so instead you can go into properties go to shortcut advance run as administer and check that out and that's it you're set up uh, then there's go k apply k Okay, now you set up. Now let's open the program. I don't know why my computer seems to be extremely slow right now. Um, so I'm not gonna go on everything special. I'm just gonna go on the very basic stuff of how to do it. So it's gonna go on high quality and everything. Uh, if you want a more advanced tutorial with more stuff that it has in it, uh, comment and ask for that, and I will. Okay, I'm going to do this too. And. Okay, here we go. Now the program is on. Now, like you see, I already set something up here. And that was when I was making the tutorial from before, but that doesn't matter. Okay, let's jump into the settings now. I'm going to go to the tab of settings, then go to settings. <laughs> and in here, you can set your profile if you want to set up streaming or any other profile, whatever fits you. And you can set a few profiles so you can change between them YouTube okay and I'll just push that and now I have a profile now whatever I change the settings will be going to this profile so if I want to do something here I'm just going to here and I can choose between my profiles and all my things going to be set up but okay so in encoding uh, I had the better off I'm doing 10 uh, 3000 um, max bitrate I don't know if it's really that good Someone told me why me check it up and you I'm not gonna tell you why that go. Yes, I might save it. Okay, that's nice. Okay, now in board settings. Oh my computer gives me thumbs to guys. Sorry. Um yeah, okay, board test settings. Now here it'll probably be by default like this. Now what you want to do is right click on mode, is left click on mode and go to file output only. Now in here you have the file output, very simple. Now you need to click browse to select where you want to put it or you can type it in but to, you know, go to choice um, wow my computer really gives me problems right now okay good now let's say I want to put in D and it's going to put it FLV I wouldn't suggest just right now putting on MP4 I think it's going to be fixed but right now it gives problems I wouldn't use it because it's going to go on a low quality not like it's supposed to be now here you're supposed to write some name for it so let's say my youtube video and it's going to be a flv and i'm going to click save and that's it now i set up the position where i want to save it and what's its name now what you're going to do is set two hot one start one stop you can set it to be the same thing and one time you click start one time you click stop super easy no problem to set up now what you need to do is just type it tap on it with your left click mouse button and then click whatever you want to set up as a hotkey fit 
as like let's say K O J or I or as I did already F9 okay yeah okay then you want to click apply to apply the settings and oh wow guys sorry this usually doesn't happen I guess my computer just doesn't like me today oh it might be because I'm running main trends on my computer right now <sighs> I'll just give it a second um, so like I say I'm going to show you it on high definition at least with my settings it might be different for you okay so then you go into video now I set it up as a monitor and it just jumps into costume and gives me my screen size so yeah your choice guys <laughs> you can set custom you can set it to monitor I set the monitor and it just jumps into this and that's it now if you start to record after you did everything I tell you and you get like this black screen going to here you might need to change your video adapter okay I had a problem with that once that's the way I fixed it check it out for you guys about what's going on with you now you can change down your down scale um, take down your resolution and take less memory and will take less power from the computer but you want maybe high definition I want a high definition and stuff like none that's your choice FPS is frame per second that means how much frames are passing in one second of a video now the higher it is the memory will take the more power it will take from your computer but if you want to do slow motion stuff you'll probably want higher maybe 60 you can even go 90 if you really want to go crazy but if you want a regular video, just gameplay without slow motion, stuff like that, you'll probably go 30. You might even have slow motion 30. I never tried it, so I don't know, guys. So you'll have to try it. Okay. Supply. And I'll go to the next one when the computer gets back to moving. <laughs> and what else can I tell you? Uh, well, I didn't touch a lot of size. Okay, I might have needed, could have, didn't. Uh, you can have your settings. I didn't touch this. You can understand yourself, I believe. Now, in advance, you'll probably, if you have a multi call, what I believe most of the computers today have, you can do a, a multi thread optimization. And I set to high, a super present, a ultra fast, and the rest I didn't touch. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much all I can show you about that. Then you want to push OK to get out of it. Okay, now you want to set up your scenes. Your scenes. Now, scenes means what's going to be in this video, okay, like type. Now you can set all kinds of scenes and then you can choose between them uh, by game or by other methods that you prefer. So let's say this is called YouTube again, just because I'm bored, I'm really lazy now. I'm thinking a name. Okay, so now you have a scene. Now in this, those scenes, you can put sources. Now I can even, if I want to make another scene called scene, see, so I can make how much I want, it doesn't matter. Now in the, let's say YouTube one, after I click it, I can put sources inside. Now sources is where to get the media, like photos, pictures, text, videos, uh, webcom, game. Okay. So global source, I'm not, it's not going to go into it. If you want the video, I'll ask for that. Okay. So if you right click source, right click sources, then you push add. You go into add. You want to do game capture. Now, like I said before, you have to run this as administrator. If you were an administrator, this game capture wouldn't work right. Okay, guys. Okay, so you click the add, then you can call it something. So I'm going to call it hidden source because that's the game I'm running right now. And here you can see it appears here hidden source for B and other stuff that I'm not going to touch. If you don't see, you can click refresh if it's running. Now, like you see down here, my game is right now running. Okay? If your game is not running, you're not going to see it here. So if you like, wait, where's my game? It's simply because you're not running, man. Okay? If you still have a problem, connect, of course, and I'll see what I can do. If you just run now, click refresh, and you will get to see it here. Okay? And that's it. You pretty much set up. Now, if you notice, this is saying stop stream. That's be before when I pushed the F9, I actually started this. So it's not of all the settings and all that. Now, if I click preview, you're not going to see anything simply because I'm not in the game and it doesn't go from a graphics card, so it doesn't load. Now, if I'll open the game right now, it's going to mess up my program, my recording program, send to it, and then I'm going to come back. 